Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So this season on The Flash, the major theme has been that of legacy, and we have dived into the legacy of a few characters, but mainly that of Barry Allen, or, you know, aka The Flash. As we do have a family member of his, and just a, like, a, a walking example of his legacy in this season, that of course being his daughter, XS, or Nora Allen. But one character that a lot of people wanted to see appear on the show before Nora, but still want to see appear on the show anyway, is that of Bart Allen, most likely with the mantle or name of Impulse. And that is just due to, like, Wally West still technically being Kid Flash and all of that. Bart Allen, of course, being the grandson of Barry and Iris and the son of Don Allen. And fun fact, you know, Bart Allen is actually Barry Allen as well. That's his name. But as we know, Bartholomew can be like shortened to both Barry as well as Bart. So that's why both of them work. But yeah, Bart has been a character many people have wanted to see on the show, like on The Flash at some point, in a similar way to Nora has this season, you know, traveling back to the past to meet, in this case, his grandparents, or specifically his grandfather, Barry. And over the past, I'd say, like, maybe four to five days or so before this video went uh, or goes up, there has been a screenshot, just a screenshot, I know, of a supposed deleted Instagram post that has been going around making people freak out and think that Impulse could possibly be coming to the show this season. Or that he was supposed to be coming in an earlier season and that idea was scrapped. But unfortunately, anyone that has been spreading this information or this photo hasn't really done any research. And I have done one video similar to this style before, you know, going over fake information or photos. And I don't like doing them as I do feel like it's a waste of an upload, if that makes sense. But sometimes you just have to squash BS rumors and stuff going around just so they don't build up to that high, uh, that high and, that, and people end up getting disappointed. So hopefully you understand what I'm getting at there. But along with this, I don't really like to call people out, but I'm friendly with one of the people who sort of stuffed up in regards to this and did a video and sort of promoted this. So I don't think he will mind. So Ben or the DC TV show uploaded a video on this without looking into it properly. I've talked to him and he knows he stuffed up and should have not rushed into making, you know, a video about it. But Ben is only 11 years old, so sometimes kids make, you know, mistakes sometimes, so yeah. But there are many Instagram accounts also spreading the screenshot of the Instagram post and treating it as real, and it's like a base for, you know, well, not even speculation, that, it, that impulse is coming. So, Paigey, why isn't the photo real? Why should we just be ignoring it and pretending it doesn't exist? Well, as you can see from the Instagram screenshot, it says that an account called Andy Poon Design uploaded the post onto Instagram, which was apparently deleted. Now, Andy was a concept designer for not just The Flash, but also Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow as well. Not sure about Supergirl, though. But anyway, just looking from that image, just, a, just on face value, you would be like, oh yeah, sweet, that looks legit. It would be cool to have Impulse on the show. Hopefully he is coming soon. Or, you know, something like that. But if we simply go back to the upload of the Kid Flash concept art from Season 3, yeah, the Impulse photo is literally just a Photoshop from someone you know, who's taken the Kid Flash concept art. This literally took me like three minutes or something to find, compare and figure out. Now the photos have one like difference and by one like difference, I mean the Instagram posts have one like difference. So the uh, actual impulse photo has 543 likes, I think it is, and the Kid Flash concept art has 544, which means that someone has basically, after this screenshot was taken, has gone and liked the Kid Flash photo, whichever, you know, way it was, or whoever took the impulse photo, took their like of the Kid Flash photo, took the screenshot to do the impulse stuff and then added the like back, something along those lines. But they have like the same stance and you might be thinking like, oh, Pagey, they have a different, you know, hairstyle though, and that doesn't look exactly like Ken and Lonsdale under the mask. So it must be another, you know, a model for another Barry and Iris descendant or something like that. Well, yeah, it's not Ken and Lonsdale who plays Wally that's being used there. It's an actor called Cameron Boyce. If you type into Google Cameron Boyce actor or something, that is the head that is being used there. So Cameron Boyce is another mixed, like African, uh, like African, um, you know, white, you know, a mixed character. I don't even know how to word it properly, but he's another mixed actor, quite young. So he's the head model, if you want to call it for this, uh, this fake impulse art thing. Even just looking at the suit in general, you can even tell that the impulse, like, photo is just the Kid Flash concept art with some, like, and this is just being generous here, half decent paint job over the top, but the emblem on the impulse suit is terrible and would not get a pass in concept art, I don't think. And halfway through prepping this video, I have just found out from someone who actually knows who did this fake mock-up that they did this pretty quickly. And some people are getting fooled by it, which is pretty funny. Not the fact that people are getting fooled by it, that's funny to make them look silly or something like that. Just the fact that something like this could be done so quick and still be believable enough to still trick some people. 
But really, to sum everything up in regards to this, decent like amounts of the Flash community did get trolled pretty badly with this. I wasn't going to do a video on this at all. As I said, it's been around like for almost a week now, this post, this fake photo. But just the misinformation being spread due to it, I almost felt like I needed to make sure that everyone who watches this video at least knows that this is in fact a Photoshop of the Kid Flash concept art. And I was getting com com like comments on my video saying, oh, did you see the, the, uh, the, in the impulse concept art? And I was like, yeah, but it's fake. But you know, you got to do what you got to do, if that makes sense. So in the future, fellow social media people and Flash fans, always double check things because it only took me a few minutes to do that, especially on Instagram because that is like troll central in regards to these type of things. But to add some actual uh, relevant content to the video, I thought we would end off the video by going over the synopsis for episode 15 of this season of The Flash, which was released over the past you know couple of days, which actually does reveal some pretty interesting things. So the episode, as we should all know by now, is called uh, King Shark vs. Gorilla Grodd. And obviously this isn't back until March the 5th, so we've still got like around two weeks left until this episode airs. But anyway, this is the synopsis. When Gorilla Grodd attacks Central City, Barry and Team Flash find themselves teaming up with an unexpected ally to defeat, King Shark. However, when they hit a snag, they bring in Dr. Tanya Lambden to try to reach the man behind the shark, Shay Lambden. Now, firstly, in regards to that first sentence, I think they've stuffed, uh, like stuffed up here. I believe that is meant to say Barry and Team Flash find themselves teaming up with an unexpected ally to defeat him, as in, you know, Gorilla Grodd, and then it's meant to say King Shark, which would mean that Team Flash, you know, teams up with King Shark in order to take down Gorilla Grodd, because I think how it written is like initially doesn't actually make any sense at all. Like if you reread it, it just doesn't seem to make sense. But King Shark being Team Flash's new ally is pushed forward in the next part of the synopsis, which says... They bring in Dr. Tanya Lambden to try to reach the man behind the shark, Shay Lambden. So we did first meet uh, Dr. Tanya Lambden once back in season two of The Flash, which I think was the episode just simply called King Shark. I think that was the episode that Diggle was there and like King Shark escaped that Argus facility. I think that's when it was. Anyway, from memory, it was Caitlin and Cisco that went to her and like she got triggered because they're bringing up her husband who had died and they sort of had to leave. Now, for this episode, they have recast the actress for the character, so she wouldn't look, like, familiar to anyone in regards to being on The Flash previously, so you might see, won't see her walk in and go, I've seen this woman before on the show. That won't be the case, because they've recast the actress, just because I don't think they ever thought that they'd bring her back onto the show. But it seems that they will be using her to get through to King Shark, otherwise known as uh, Shay Lambton, who was her husband. The only issue, and I guess the big issue with this, is that the King Shark that we have on The Flash, and we've seen the whole time, is from Earth 2. He was brought over by Zoom in Season 2 to try and kill the Flash. So remember, like, there was that... No one was expecting a moment in Season 2 when I think Barry, as the Flash, is, like, spying on Patty Spivet, I think it is, having a bit of a perv, if you want to call it, and King Shark just picks him up. Everyone was like, what the hell? King Shark. Like, that was probably, like, one of the biggest, like, what the hell moments because I don't think anyone was expecting King Shark to show up. That was, you know, back in the glory days of the Flash when, the you know... Expect the unexpected. So that was really, I saw like a smile at that moment just because it was one of those really cool moments. But anyway, of course, this led Harry to taking him down and then King Shark starting his life as like an Argus prisoner and all of that. Now, Earth-1 Shay Lambden died of cancer following the particle accelerator incident, which basically made him like a walking, talking stick of tumors. He was working with shark DNA and all that, just like the Earth-2 version of Shay Lambden, but he got cancer instead of becoming a shark with like legs and arms. But it just seems that they will use the Earth-1 wife to get through to the Earth-2 husband, unless they do bring the Earth-2 wife over. But is that needed when you have the Earth-1 wife there and you can just pretend that she's the Earth-2 version? I don't know. I have no idea what they're going to do, but it seems like that's how they're going to do it all. But even though this seems like a mostly filler episode, like when you look at the trailer, it just seems like it's going to be one of those fun filler episodes. Like, I guess like the previous King Shark episodes have been, and even I guess like the previous Gilroy Grodd episodes have been, like just fun filler episodes. It seems that they will use the Medicure on King Shark, which could be a bargaining tool to, you know, get him to help Team Flash try and take down Gorilla Grodd. Now, the reason I believe this is happening is because they actually have cast a human version of Shay Lambden, that actor being Dan Payne, as you can see on the screen right now, there should be a photo of him. Obviously, this could be a flashback. It simply could be a flashback to maybe him first becoming King Shark, but you think they would have done that in past seasons? So I would like to think Team Flash would test the Medicure on him. We know it's done. Barry spent you know, 29 days worth of Speed Force time in there, which was like 60 minutes out time. He's come out, It's it went from like, what, pinkish to blue, so it's ready. So you'd have to think King Shark is gonna be their first like 
like proper human or meta trial run and then they and you know there could be you know possibly a happy ending for king shark in some way the medicure is really for metas who got abilities or changes that aren't really beneficial to them and king shark is definitely one of like one of those metas so i can see that going down in this episode also would they use the medicure on grod or is the metahuman cure like only for you know metahumans that discussion might come up in the episode but we'll have to wait and see. That'd be an interesting topic for them to actually go over, I think. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like and it show support. Let me know your various opinions in the comment section down below about the episode 15 synopsis, as well as the impulse thing. Did you know it was fake or did you get fooled by it? And I've managed to just basically maybe ruin some of your hopes and dreams, but hopefully you won't get disappointed. You know, this is fake. I'd rather you guys know it's fake than, you know, be misled and hope that something is true because a lot of people actually do believe this is real. It's probably more people, more people believed it was real than more people thought it was fake. So that was a bit concerning. But yeah, so hopefully I helped you out in regards to that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.